Brave DVM is coming at you with a very simple project, uh, making a uh, chicken or turkey waterer for the birds. Um, a lot of people go to the stores, um, you know, they private message me and say, hey, where do you get such great feeding buckets? Ours cost 30 to 50 bucks. Uh, it's really simple, folks. Um, a 3 8 inch drill bit on a drill, um, a little bit of silicone, about uh, $3 worth of water picks here, poultry water nipples or picks, whatever you want to call them. Um, we get ours from Fleet Farm. Um, they come in a set of four. They're just, you know, little metal devices with a little ball inside, and uh, they're red and they're plastic. And then we buy about uh, three ninety nine pail and about a $4 uh, screw-on cover. Now, you don't have to even use a screw-on cover, um, but we like it with these um, little nipples. These are the little metal ones. The little birds just flip the bottoms of them, and a drip or two of water comes out every time they flip them. Now, don't get me wrong, occasionally these things will leak a drip or two of water, so obviously you want to be aware of that. Um, we just buy a gamma seal lid. These fit any standard 5-gallon pail. You can um, unscrew the center of them, which we find to be very, very helpful um, when loading them with water. Um, and they just snap onto a regular 5-gallon pail. This whole project you can probably make for 10 to 12 bucks. It's that simple. So you just snap the lid on. Um, and then the center unscrews to allow you to fill it with water. Uh, that's the basic assembly of the pail. <laughs> Not very hard. Um, and then you're all set on that end. A lot of times we don't even have the, the cover screwed on. We just have it sitting on it. Obviously, we hang these by a chain in the chicken coop, so they work uh, really well for us. And since it's a five-gallon pail, I'd say for, you know, it'll last about a week for about five birds. We take a 3 8 inch drill bit. Um, and just strategically punch through the pail in a couple nice spots. Um, you know, put four of them in a pail because that's what comes in a little kit of nipples. It's it's that simple to do. And then, you know, just kind of clean up the little the black shrouds or whatever you get off the pail to make sure you have a nice, um, you know, smooth surface to, to put the, uh, the the nipples down into. Um, but basically, that's that's what it looks like. It's just basically four holes in the bottom of a five-gallon pail. And, you know, it's been cleaned up nice. Now, if you read the directions on the nipples, it does tell you you can just thread them right into these pails. And you don't need any silicone or anything. Um, I found it best to just put the silicone in anyways. So, um, I pull the, the, the sticker off things and kind of get it ready. And I'll just flip the pail over. And um, then I'll just take these little nipples. And they have a little, like, O-ring on them, a little clear O-ring. I leave that on, um, but I just coat the threads real good with silicone um, to make sure that they don't leak. And then I just try to very carefully start them straight, because remember this is just a drilled hole and, you know, like a sixteenth of an inch of plastic pail, and I just tighten them finger tight. I know there's um, little edges on them that could take a wrench, but I don't go that crazy. Um, you know, these things are, are just in a little bit of plastic, so I just, you know, tighten them in finger tight with my fingers and Kind of let that silicone just kind of squish out the sides, and you know we'll, we'll clean that up here in a little bit. And I let it dry for 24 hours, and then I rinse it out three, four times with some dish soap and water, and in case there's any residue or you know plastic or any crap that they made in the pail, you know when they did it. And then once I have it washed out, I I go put water in these things, and I take a, a chain, uh, technically a little bit of a two-piece chain, one on each side of the little white handle, and I hook them on with a clip. And I hang them, and like I said, for about every you know five birds, one of these will last over a week, which is just fantastic. You know, obviously, if we're talking turkeys, it might go a little quicker when the birds are big. Um, but for for like laying hens, you know, five birds and this thing will go all week, which is awesome. And uh, you know, the water's at you know ambient air temperature, which is good for the birds. It isn't too cold, too hot this way. And it's a little bit of activity for them. You know, they can't just walk up, take a slurp, you know, dump a bunch of sawdust or shavings in it and walk away and contaminate their water. This way, the water actually stays really clean because it's inside the pail and protected. Um, so it's it's really a nice thing to do. Um, I know you probably see these pictures of these devices on Pinterest, too. And like I said, they actually sell these commercially in quite a few stores. And that's fine, too. I just... I find for the, the 30 to 50 bucks to get these things shipped and sent to you, it's just as easy to make one yourself, uh, especially if you got a, a store like Fleet Farm around. Or, you know, I think even Tractor Supply sells these, you know, so you can, you know, get the little um, nipples from them too. Um, but this is it, you know, and you just you tap them and, you know, eventually the water will come, come right out of these things. So, 
Um, I'm going to let this dry overnight. And then, uh, you know, we're going to put some water in it and then we'll take it out to the birds and, uh, you know, I'll show you what it looks like. And, you know, the birds really like these. You know, they say you got to train these birds. Uh, never had to train them. The uh, minute you put these little red nipples down um, and make sure you get a drip or two out of each nipple first, I, I tend to tap them to get them wet. Um, once that little, you know, stainless steel little rod there is has got some water on it, uh, it just seems like the birds just know what to do. They're, they're so curious anyways, you know, they want to go over and peck at the red and the minute they hit the, the metal, they realize there's water in there and they just very quickly learn that this is a good way to get a drink. Now, again, the bottom shavings under this thing will get a little wet and that's okay. Um, you know, the birds here, uh, we've got some birds that are, uh, just about starting to feather out. And as you see, I just hang this, it's, it's swinging just a little on the chain yet, but it doesn't even bug the bird. See, the bird just goes right underneath it, gets a drink. Here comes another bird in. Um, you can just see those red things up there. Just kind of peck away at it and get a couple drinks and off they go. It's a really good way of, of getting water to them. Um, you know, once once I get these birds all pecking at it for a couple days, I just pull the other waterers out and uh, we're good to go. It might be a little hard for the really tiny birds when you get those two or three day old birds, but for all the other birds it works great. It's a simple way to make a chicken and water, uh, I mean chicken and turkey waterer. So enjoy folks and thank you for watching.